So now we have a data column and it's always nice to show some data and perhaps a corresponding chart next to it. So you can right click on the table and copy and paste the data again on the right hand side here. And from our left hand menu you've got data but you've also got templates and in here we have some tables and charts that you can use which are predefined and it's as simple as clicking on the pie chart and dragging it and dropping it onto the onto the table. And so now we have a chart representation of the, the table as well. Sometimes within the, the same report you would like to have a summary uh, summary page so we can right, right click on this and rename to summary and on, in the same report it would be nice to see some more detail. So we can right click on the tab and select a duplicate and we get another report which is exactly the same. So on this one I'm going to call it the detail. At this level I'll choose not to show the chart so I can right click and select remove. But over here perhaps I want to show some more information. So within these customers what jobs are the ones which are bringing in the most revenue. So I can pull in the job name as well and just drag it between these two columns. And I can see their corresponding jobs. So fixing up some formatting here you can select the column you want to format and maybe we can do auto fit height so we can see all of the job name. Again if you wanted to show more detail perhaps by task we can switch into edit query mode which allows us to select different fields come back up to our job registrations, job entry and select a task. And once we've run that again, we can drag and drop the task in. So very easily you can switch from a, a high level summary report down to something which has more detail. Another formatting thing that you can do, and maybe this is more appropriate into something where you were showing budgeted information as well as actuals, um, is some highlighting. And you can do this in many different ways. Um, but the easiest way is just to select what you want to highlight and the hazard button up the top is our alerter and so we can create a new alerter here which I might call revenue and here all I'm going to do is if the value of the recognized base is less than a hundred thousand so less than 100,000 to show the cell contents is red and I just go OK to apply this and I can immediately see that my bottom three are highlighted in red and you can reuse that alerter throughout the report by selecting the other column and clicking on the, the alert button to select it again. So if you're happy with the report and you're ready you can save it to the re online repository um, in a location which is suitable to you. So we should call this the client revenue report. And some other options you have once this is saved. Um, and the nice thing about using the, the template report again, see how it says template report here. If we refresh this now, it becomes the client revenue so it pulls off the name as well. So we have saved this to the online repository but you also have the ability of saving it to your local computer as either an Excel, PDF or a CSV um, file format. So that brings me to the end of the demonstration. Hopefully you've seen how easy it is to create a report and if you have any other questions or would like any more information please contact us at Meconomy. Thank you.